Hello everyone, welcome to Sim Reviews, and we are back with another video. In previous video, we showed about the Android Lollipop update in the Moto G, and in this video, we are going to show some new tips and tricks which we get uh, in the Moto G Android Lollipop update. So, the first thing you notice is the new keyboard layout in the Android Lollipop update. So, you uh, notice that this is white keyboard, uh, new layout of material design. Uh, many of us don't like the white color, and actually, it's not good for the screen also. So, if you want to change, just go to settings, go to language and input, select the Google keyboard and in the appearance and layout, you can see those four options, material light, material dark, holo blue and holo white. Holo blue and holo white are the old keyboard uh, which we found in the Android 4.4 and earlier, earlier versions and material light and material dark are the new uh, material design keyboard. So, there is the new material dark version which makes a keyboard more darker and easier in the uh, in the night and the next uh, uh, tip is the ambient display so it works when uh, the screen is off and the notifications are shown it actually vibrates the uh, screen and the whole notification is shown in form of white color so it actually saves the battery and also uh, saves the time of opening that so let's just uh, on the ambient display and now ambient display is on let's just lock the screen and wait for a message we are uh, uh, sending it from another phone so it's this is the uh, ambient display and when you touch the screen is automatically unlocked and later on you can actually uh, see those uh, uh, notifications and go go in that so the next uh, tip is the screen pinning it's actually a great uh, as the Moto, uh, Moto G has this Android Lollipop update and Lollipop is basically Google has set some standards uh, has kept in mind with this Lollipop update that security customization and uh, colors animations are the new new things which we get in the Lollipop so in this uh, uh, screen pinning actually provides the security so let's just go into security settings down here a screen pinning just turn this on and you would get a new option when you actually uh, press this overview view button you get a little circle circle here and you can actually pin pin those settings uh, so the person if you want to give your phone to a person to make a call uh, and if you think he would uh, do something else on your phone actually call another or take someone's number so there's a risk in privacy you can actually pin this app so if there is a uh, if there is password in your phone the app uh, the screen pinning would exit with a call it would ask for app uh, the lock code or the pattern or pin whichever so here is no buttons are working actually because the screen is pinned neither the notification bar so uh, it's actually a great feature for security if you want if you don't want people to use any other apps uh, other than you give them to use and to exit uh, this uh, screen pinning you actually need to press this overview and back button uh, uh, at the same time and it would actually uh, the now the screen is unpinned yeah so here's the pretty great trick uh, with the security so the next trick is the new priority mode actually there is a lot of question with this new priority mode of the volume you actually get uh, a whole lot of uh, customizations and whole uh, lot of uh, uh, volume controls so what are these volume controls actually so this all all actually means every uh, this applies for all the notifications uh, none none actually makes the whole phone silent and for uh, uh, you can set the time actually one hour two hour three hour four hours and that's great and uh, when you select none the it won't even trigger the alarms and anything no alarms nothing no calls no message there would be no vibration no ringtones anything no interruptions and when you select the priority you can select uh, actually 
go into settings and select what priorities you select events and reminder you can uh, you get call notifications or message notifications and that's and that's great actually when you don't want to be disturbed so it's actually a great feature so the next feature is the the google now launcher uh, it's actually a great thing you can uh, select uh, here in the settings now go into the now cards and enable to show cards and the cards actually show and set up select i am in it selects those uh, now cards and just swiping left uh, swiping your screen right the google now launcher opens and swiping right closes it you actually get pretty basic uh, more uh, great controls in this uh, voice OK Google detection, you can uh, select it from any screen, any personal results. And so, from a, uh, you are anywhere in the screen, and when you say OK Google, it would actually open the Google, and that's great. Uh, you can uh, open anywhere. Uh, you open the Google uh, now bar, you can search, uh, you can vo uh, voice search actually, and that's great because you don't need to type actually now let's talk about the sound and notifications uh, you can actually customize those apps you get uh, notifications about and as uh, the notification customization is just uh, as the notification arrive it is piled up and up the newest notification is piled up the oldest notification is piled down in the lock screen but you can uh, in this app notifications you can actually customize which apps you want the notification to be uh, appear in the in the first list and which apps have the lower priority so this were some new tips and tricks we found unique in the android lollipop update